All right, we're writing linear equations. Basically, we're going to write an equation in slope-intercept form for each given line. All right, so if we're given the slope is 1 half and the y-intercept is negative 5, this is probably the simplest type to write into slope-intercept form because it's giving us what we basically need to do that. If y is equal to mx plus b, which is our slope-intercept form format, uh, we're just going to plug in the slope and the y-intercept. Well, the slope is equal to m, and the slope is 1 half, so we're going to replace the m with 1 half, and we're going to replace the b, which is the y-intercept, with negative 5, so our slope-intercept equation becomes y equals half x minus 5. All right, let's try something a little more complicated. This case, we're just given a graph, and we need to come up with an equation in slope-intercept form for, each, for this line. All right, so we have 4, 2. We have a point at 2, 0. We have a point at 1, negative 2. And we have a point at 0, negative 4. Well, first of all, what is the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is where uh, x is equal to 0. Where is y on that line? And we find that that's at negative 4. So our y-intercept is negative 4, or b is equal to negative 4. Next, what is the slope? Well, let's take two of our equations, or two of our pairs, and plug them into our formula for m, or slope. So we have negative 4 minus a negative 2 over 0 minus 1. That becomes negative 2 over negative 1, which is equal to 2. So therefore, our slope is 2. And if you take a look at that, and remember that slope is equal to rise over run, if we started at 0, negative 4, and went up 2 and over 1, that would be 2 over 1, or 2. Okay, so now we're going to, now that we know what B and M are, we're going to plug those into our formula for a slope-intercept line. And we have y is equal to 2x minus 4.